Good day to you, participants of Systems Bootcamp, where we will explore how to use Google Docs and Google Sheets for the creation of terminal reports for schools and fee payment tracking system. But the knowledge you gain from this can be used to develop other systems as well. So it's not just about terminal reports and it's not just about the fee payment or tracking system, you can also use it for inventory, whatever system that you can think of. If you have that understanding, you'll be able to, de to develop tools like this to make things easier at the workplace. So I will just um, take you through what the final product will be so that you, you have some sort of expectation before we start a program. So just give me one or two minutes to run you through what is available and what is possible, okay? So if we check this template, we have first term, second term, third term for most of the schools in Ghana, yeah. But some of the international schools use um, semester system, so they have quarter one, quarter two, quarter three. But for most of the senior high schools and busy schools, we stick with the first, second term, and third term. So when you click on this, I'll teach you how to do this. Um, these are just links you create. It takes you to the first term, depending on the number of subjects. So all these have been linked, so I'm going to delete it. So the first thing I do is to populate it with a student list. So you click, it takes you to where the students are. Then maybe I'll type my name, VP, problem one. Asthma. Then these are um, prospective students. So plain, sorry, parent number one, parent number two, parent email. So if you have the parent email, then we can automate the sending of the report after all the teachers are finished failing their part. So I'll click to go back to my dashboard. So once I come back, okay, there's a grading system. We can always adapt it. We can always change it. So example, I'm doing it for, let's say, English language. I type it in. Now I want to go to English language. And you just need to click on the subject one. It takes you to English language. So week one, probably the teacher decided to do a test, which was over 20. You put 20 there. The student got 15. Okay, so I got, let's say, 18. Now you move, you keep moving week two, week three, week four, week five, week six, week seven, all the way to about week 16. So as you enter the scores, the system automatically calculates it. So it's giving us the total classwork to be 20, converted it in 30%. If it is 50%, we put in the formulas and it's going to work for us. It will give us the grade. So as you mean, at the end of the day, we did an exam. Then maybe I'm collaborating with a teacher. So the teacher can go on the phone to assess this. So I've already shared this with me. So I'm going to go to my Gmail. Then um, I come to my spreadsheet. So this is how teachers can enter the scores on their phone if um, they decide to do that. So now um, I'm going to go to, now you see, it is refreshing. So I come to subject one, I go, I click. So as I move, so this is how it's going to appear on the teacher's phone. So the teacher can come in here and enter the score. So if I enter the score, let's say um, out of 80, I'll hit this, then the next student. So you can see that synchronization. Then I'll enter, let's say 95. I'll hit it, then automatically it gives me the grade, the position and everything. So once you finish, you can go back to dashboard. So if I want to fill for mathematics, so all the um, teachers of that class will have access to this. And all they need to do is to click to go to their respective subjects. And the system will just do the calculations. So go to subject two. I can come on my phone. Um, on my phone, I go back and come to subject two. So if I come to Wednesday, as I type, you can see that real time collaboration over there. So if this was 15, I hit it. Then I come out of the 15, the student scored 14. The other student got 
15. I'll hit it, then I can even go all the way. So that's the beauty of it. So all the teachers need to do is to download and install what Google Sheet. So when you join this training and when you finally make payment, I'll take my time to take you through and teach you how to connect everything. Okay, I'll teach you how to connect everything that you need to, you know, learn in order to generate this report. And it's going to be a wonderful learning experience. Thank you.